Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you an unboxing, but this is a slightly different item. It's not a fountain pen, it is a pencil. And let's move on. I have to say that I bought this pen at a quite nice price from this store, Fontana Pen. It is a store in Spain and I will talk about them a little bit in a moment. So, my Victorinox knife from 1985 and let's... I think it needs to be sharpened and let's take a look inside. I think there is kind of a letter here. Okay, it is the invoice for the pen and here we have the box and now you can see that this is what I have inside is a Caveco Oops. and the Caveco that is here it's not a fountain pen as I told you but it is a pencil and it has the, the booklet and the usual sticker that I have lots of them and I think many of you also do have lots of them and here is the pencil and what is this? This is the Caveco Sport Lux and this is a, a model, a variation of the Caveco Sport that was made between, as far as my records go, uh, from it was made between 2009 and 2013 these were a little different from the regular sport models because they are made of resin and they have some brass parts like this one that are gold plated and like are really heavy and this is a pencil and i think it will work like this it is a rotation rotating pencil and then the lead comes in again while you do this. So this is a very interesting pencil. And why did I get this pencil? The reason is simple, because I have the rest of the set. And in this case, I think these pens are really, really stylish. Let me show you. I have here my rickshaw pen sleeve. For three pens and I have the ballpoint pen now I have the pencil and I already had the fountain pen and I think this is quite a really good model it has a weight inside here it makes a little bit more heavy and the balance is very good so you can see this was a specific range that was more expensive. This, these are not cheap and now they are really hard to find. And I got this one as a gift from, a Christmas gift from Caveco some years ago. This one I bought for my Caveco sport collection and now I bought this one. And I'm really happy with, with this. I'm really happy for having this. Let me just tell you one of the reasons that I'm quite happy for having this, this pen, is that, this pencil, is that I think it really goes back to the tradition of Caveco. You, you may say, but it has a fixed clip. This is not removable. Yes, it has, but also some vintage Caveco Sport models have a clip that you could unscrew this top part and take the clip or put a clip but they had that option not just the slide in clip that you have today so it makes sense in terms of evolution the other thing it's nice is that this pencil takes 1.18 millimeters millimeter leads so um, you will have the same size of leads that you that you had on the on the vintage pens and this is 
I think, in my opinion, it is a very nice feature because it goes back to that time. Uh, nowadays, Kavek doesn't make this size, only 0 0.5, 0 0.9, I don't know if they do 0 0.7 but they do also uh, 3.2, 2.0, 6 .6, uh, 5.6, so they have lots of sizes in other models, but this one had the traditional 1.18 millimeters, and the interesting thing about this is that they still have, uh, they still produce, or at least if they are not the producers, they market uh, as their own, they still have available for purchase the LEDs for this size of pencil. And I think that's great. I love this and I'm now very happy because I have the full set. I'm not going for full sets in every type of Kavek Sport, but in the Look Sport I do. Let me just come back to Fontana Pena. And what I have to say about Fontana Pena is a story in uh, Spain and they have the, the the man behind the story is, is a man called Mikel and Mikel has some ways of getting some vintage stock so he got quite recently this pencil and he let me know and I bought it because I really wanted one of those. And this, uh, at least when I bought this one, he still had one at least in stock. So if you want this, go there. I really like this pencil and I like to have stores that sometimes find some old stock. He had a few months ago, he found some uh, art sport from the, collect from the Generation 2 some colors that are no longer very common and he found also the red AL Sport, the Spanish edition he also had some yellow some time ago so I think his site is worth to look at because sometimes he gets special stuff and you may want to have that special thing to complete your collection. This is the one that I will use the, li the list, but it was given to me by Kavek, so I enjoy it. Now I have the pencil and the pen, and they all go into this rickshaw uh, pouch and I think, or sleeve, and I think I will use them now uh, a lot, because I really like this pen and I would say that this is one of my favorite uh, Kavek Sport models ever. And the, the addition of having a ballpoint when you need and also a pencil is very nice. This twist action which is very quiet, you don't hear a, so, hear a sound very good. So. This is what I had to show. Don't forget to check Fontana Pena because maybe he has some stuff that may interest you. He has modern stuff, but he finds some old Kavek uh, items. You may want to check them. And if you like the pencil, go for it because they are impossible to find anywhere. And also, if you want to know more about Cavecos or you want to have a place where you can discuss and show your photos of your Cavecos in almost compulsive way, you don't uh, please don't forget to join the Facebook group of Cavec collectors and users. There you can see lots of information. People post their pens, their photos, the the Kavecos that they are going to sell or they want to buy and people are very helpful and help each other with links for stores when they get, where they can get the pens. They also announce all the news that are being released so it's a good way if you want to keep on track on every Kaveco release and you also have some stores that are represented there 
and so if Fontana Pena, for example, uh, finds something new, he will post there on the Caveco uh, collectors and users group. So don't forget to do those three things. I said two only. Check them, join the group, and also the third thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe me, and I will be back soon for another video. I'm happy. Bye.